I've heard of all your accomplishments. Yeah. You're an amazing young golfer. Thank you. So we're just gonna walk up here. I wanna, you know, you're gonna hit some balls and we're just gonna chat, all right? I wanna get to know Bento Assis, okay? okay? Bento, so we hear from a lot, and I'm sure you hear it a lot, that you're gonna be on the tour one day. Do you feel a lot of pressure? Does that make you nervous? No, I don't really think about that. Um, I really, I really agree with them because I work really hard and that's one of my dreams, so I want to achieve it. What are your other dreams? I want to win the four majors in the same year, and um, I want to beat Tiger Woods' record. You can try to play, but you're never going to beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody and stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody and break through the chains, go free me. When you talk about beating Tiger's record, what record is that? Uh, his PJ wins. I want to be. I want to win more PJs than him. And how about Jack Nicholas's record for most majors? Also that. Bento, for an 11-year-old, those are big goals. Yeah. And you feel that you're up for that challenge of putting yourself in the same sentence as Tiger Woods and Jack Nicholas? Yes. Why is that? Because I just want to be proud of myself. Are you proud with the things that you've accomplished so far? Yes. This one is going 300. Can you imagine a life without golf? No. When I moved here, I didn't really have that much friends. And when I moved here and I started playing, started playing like to more tournaments here, I made so much friends. And if I didn't have golf, I wouldn't have that much friends. How do you feel when you beat your friends? Which is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> We always talk trash. Do you ever feel bad for any of the friends that you beat? No. <laughs> are you famous at school? Do the kids know how good you are at golf? Yes. Almost like every Friday, I have to leave early to do like some practice rounds for tournaments. When I win the tournaments or get a trophy, my mom always sends the pictures to my teachers. So, And then the teacher so shows it to the class. So you're a little famous at school? <laughs> yeah. Again, you're an amazing golfer. You win many tournaments. Do you think it's because you work harder than, than anyone else or you have more ability than the other kids? I think I work r really hard for to achieve the tournaments that I play and win them. And I think that's what makes me win more tournaments. I work harder. How many hours a day do you practice? Around three hours and then I go to the course in the afternoon. Can you play nine holes or 18 holes? I play 18 holes. What drives you? I love winning, but when I lose, I always, um, I just practice more like focused and I just practice more and keep thinking what I did wrong in the tournament that I lost. And I think that helps me too. What was the hardest tournament that you've lost? I think the hardest tournament I lost was the Future Masters. I love the trophy and it's a really important tournament. I was tied in the last hole and then I sliced it to the tree and then I made a double and you made a par. What do you feel affects you more, a big win or a negative loss? I think a big win because if you keep thinking about the negative loss, you have to think positive, not negative. So I usually think more about like the positive tournaments. How do you get yourself out of the funk when you lose a tournament? I just talk to myself. I have won a lot of tournaments. It's always good to lose some tournaments. You learn things from the, the tournaments you lose. What do you mean by it's always good to lose some tournaments? It's when you lose some tournaments, you go to the range and you just go through your whole round and just say what did I do wrong what do I need to learn what new shots I need to learn and that helps a lot do you ever get burnt out <laughs> yeah sometimes do you feel nervous on a big tournament and how do you get through that um I think I start a little nervous and I'm I always get relaxed when I get my swing going what has been your most memorable win the first world that I that I won a world championship at Pinehurst because I just moved here and I really needed a sponsorship. So I, I wanted to win that so bad. I was only six. I never played like a really important tournament. You mentioned that with Worlds, you wanted to win because you needed a sponsorship. Yeah. How did it feel to win and get your very first sponsorship? It was so good because we, my, one of my, my clubs weren't, weren't that good and because Brazil wasn't, golf wasn't that famous. Well, I always liked TaylorMade. The drivers I loved too. My dad had one and I just didn't have clubs and I wanted to get a sponsorship so I can get better clubs. And I had just lost the driver too. And I only played a th with a three wood that tournament. 
so I wanted a new driver too. So you won Worlds at six years old, so you're playing the entire tournament, three rounds of golf, the biggest tournament of your life at six years old, to get the sponsorship. You were playing your three wood the entire time? Yeah, it worked out, I guess. Do you get emotional when you win? Not emotional, but I get when I get in the car, I always, I scream and I'm really happy and my, the first world that I won to, uh, when I was six, um, my dad just just hugged me so bad and my mom started running to me. So they get emotional, but I just scream in the car. When I'm playing like the last hole tied or winning, I am so focused and when I win the tournament, I just feel so relaxed, so happy. Do your parents cry? Yes, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel extra pressure when you play in a tournament like Under Armour and you're playing you're playing up with kids older than you? Um, I actually like playing with older kids because um, I learn stuff from them and that really helps me too. Who would you consider to be your biggest competition? Someone that's really hard to beat. Um, the last two worlds was a really good competitor. It was um, Davis Petty. Since I was eight years old, Bento's always been a great competitor and a friend. Uh, I know that we're going to see each other down the road, hopefully on the PGA Tour. Uh, especially when we play against each other in these big events, he brings out the best in me. Are you guys very competitive on the course? Are you friendly on the course? Competitive. <laughs> Can you be competitive and be friendly at the same time? Yeah, when, when I'm playing with my friends, I'm always like competitive with them and I'm always like uh, funny with them, making jokes and stuff, so yeah. So you're actually joking during a tournament? Yeah, when I'm walking uh, to the hole, I'm always talking to them. I always joke around with them so I can feel more relaxed in the middle of the tournament. So when you're more friendly with your competitors, that's what makes you kind of chill out and, yeah. and have more fun and do better? Yeah. Do you feel when you walk on the course in any tournament, whether it's Under Armour World, Under Armour Nationals, that there's a target on your back because you are so successful right now? Yes, I feel that, but um, I really, do my best and not think about that and just play my game. If I can wave my magic wand and have any player play 18 holes with you, who would that be? Uh, Jordan Spieth. I really like him. Hey Bento, it's Jordan here. wanted to say um, your story is, is what's great about the game. Uh, thank you very much for uh, enjoying watching me play and having that inspire you. Uh, that was how I got inspired, was watching these guys that I'm playing against now. And I hope to meet you as well soon and, and certainly see you out on tour at some point. He's sponsored by Under Armour too. And one day I really want to play um, me, me and Jordan Spieth versus Charlie Woods and Tiger. Who's going to win that foursome? We'll try our hardest to beat them. <laughs> I want you to walk me through your prep routine. When I'm practicing, I've always put a lineman stick in the ground. Um, and when I forget my alignment stick at home, um, I always try to um, start with a good divot and that makes you like aim a little better. So I just go back in the ball and I aim like this and I just walk slowly and I put my club there so it's pointing at the hole and these knees will be straight and I just the thing that I'm most focused about is just to turn your hips. So that's the most important thing, turning your hips. Yeah, I used to use a lot of hands and not aim that well. I started using my hips and turning them without using that much hands. And that really helped me hit it straighter and hit it solid in, in the club face. With my driver, um, I just hit one ball just for like without aiming and just a normal drive shot. And then I aim as well in the second shot, but in the first shot, I just warm up my swing with my driver. I go like this a little bit, put the telemade sign in the middle of the ball and just hit it. But did you even notice the club twirl that you do right before you hit the ball? Last year in the Worlds, I probably did it like 40 times before I hit. I also do that because of my um, hand so I can get it going and getting relaxed through the movement of my hand. It's just I'm addicted to doing it. Have you seen anyone else do that or is that just the bento twirl? I think that's me. Wow. Amazing drives, bento. And 
That's my routine with my driver. Bento, you're from Brazil. Does anyone ever ask you why you're not a soccer player? Um, I used to do soccer, but really it's just aggressive and I rather just play golf. But I make more friends. Ronaldo actually has given you a signed shirt. Do you think he wants to play golf with you? Yes, I really do, and he, I think he does too. But you don't want to play soccer? <laughs> I'll get destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel that you're representing the entire country of Brazil? Um, yes, and because when I won Worlds, there wasn't really tournaments in Brazil. A lot of my friends didn't play that much golf. When I started winning a lot of tournaments, when I moved here, um, they all wanted to practice more. So that's something that I'm really happy about. You want kids in Brazil to look up to you and for you to be an example yeah. to bring got more golf. Yeah. You think you've made them proud? Yeah. So why do you like to play in the Junior Tour Powered by Under Armour? I like it because a lot of friends play um, in this tournament. I like the courses they put us on and the trophies are amazing too. Do you have any doubt in your mind that you're going to have a successful PGA career? Uh, no, because I'm really positive of myself. I work, worked, I'm work, i working really hard to get to the PGA. You're 11, so you have friends' birthday parties and maybe middle school dances. Do you feel like you've missed out on any of these things because you spend so much time and you're so focused on golf? Um, I always think of myself that work hard, but always have fun too with your friends. To like, not always think about golf. Sometimes get relaxed and stuff. I don't think I miss that much things. Um, I always have time to play with my friends. What's your favorite thing to play with your friends? I used to play video games, but then I stopped. And now we just play uh, basketball or soccer or sometimes golf too. All right, Bento, I want to know how far you hit all your clubs. Nine iron. Nine iron, uh, 125, 130. Seven. Seven iron, 150. Five. 175. Your hybrid. 200 yards. Your world champion, three wood. 220. And your driver. Average right now is probably 260, 270. Favorite candy? Sour Patch Kids. Favorite movie? Oh my God, I need to think about this one. <laughs> um, I really like the Top Gun Maverick, the new one. Favorite musical artist? Eminem. Bento, what's the first car that you're going to buy when you get those millions of dollars on the PGA Tour? I want to get a Ferrari. What color Ferrari? Red. You have a little brother, Benicio, who is also kind of looking up to you in golf. What advice do you give him when he's on the course? Just remember what you practice and just have fun. Benton, do you feel a sense of peace when you're on the golf course? Yes. 